Who's a massive hypocrite? It's me, Michaela. Why am I a hypocrite? I just finished diploma in film and television production and my final project was to make a documentary and I made one on the bookish community and it touched on materialism and now I'm filming a book haul. I don't know, I don't know. It's materialism, it's a plague, but it's fine. Everything's fine, it's fine. I like buying things and owning things. Look at this, I'm very lucky that I have an expendable income. Oh, and that's also why I haven't been uploading videos because I've been busy with schoolwork and work work. <laughs> it's done now. All I have to do is go to work a lot of days out of the week. Anyway, I'm Michaela and here's my book haul. Just out of books that I've like purchased in the past like three-ish months. In no particular order. I have the paperback of Scythe. Scythe? I don't know how it's pronounced by Neil Schusterman. I said that right. This is about a thing where people are hired to basically be deaf. Which is very cool. Everyone I know who knows my reading style says I would like this. And that is just Jess. She said that. But also I, I trust some YouTubers because we genuinely like all the same books. Mrs. Queen Takes the Train by William Kuhn. This is a story about the Queen of England going on a trip in the train in a hoodie. I really, really actually just want to drop everything I have and read it because it sounds so funny and great. I, it's not a YA novel, I believe. I got this at a secondhand store. It cost me $3 and I think I spent well. Ow, that hit my ankle. Here in Australia, we have this thing. Oh my God, I'm blanking on what it's called. But there's basically like this discount bookstore and it's like a pop-up store and they're all over the cities and they all have these discounted new books. And so I got this one called Silver in the Blood by Jessica Day, George. <gasps> Jessica Day? I miss New Girl, guys. It's only been gone for a week and I miss it a lot. Um. Jessica Day George. I feel like this has a good... No, it's just still go on the side. Duh. Um, it's about werewolves, I guess. It's set in the 1890s. They have, like, werewolf blood in them. I don't know. It sounds exciting. Cool. I'm excited for this. It sounds fun and it looks like Grisha Trilogy. <laughs> oh my god, what are these called? Things where there's lots of... Anthology. It's got five fantasy stories in it by like Isabel Carmody. Oh, she's the only one I've heard of, but like it sounds like it's gonna be a great time. Six great writers choose a classic fairy tale and cast their own spell upon it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It says volume one, so I should probably like see what volume two is about. That sounds fun. Wow, there's one called The Rubber Girl. Cool. That sounds terrifying. This I also got from the secondhand store on a different day. And then we have Ransom My Heart by Meg Cabot and Mia Thermopolis, Princess of Genovia. So in the Princess Diary series, Mia Thermopolis writes her own novel as her final thing for high school. Wait, or is the play the thing she does for high school? I don't know. But this is the book. The reviews for this on Goodreads are so harsh. They're like, this is just a smut novel that's not written very well. It's like, well, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it is in the book. So shut up. Shut up. Ugh. And here we have all the books that I just keep close to me and they're a bit tattered. I've got this round, Tales of More Debauchery by the beautiful and hilariously funny Mamrie Hart. I've started reading this, I've already laughed a whole bunch and I'm only one chapter in. This is the one I take on the train with me because it's compact. Blue Lily Lily Blue, which also has a bookmark in it. It's very far in, I'm not that far in. I've started buying books more so, really does not show in the other books I'm holding, but I've tried to start buying books in paperback because I plan on moving countries. I feel like I should spend less money on books to one, save money, and two, if I'm going to sell them or give them away, it's still like, I'm still about ownership for me. It's really, really bad and awful, but I do take a long time to read books, so sometimes the library is not the best option for me, especially since I can never get to it. And ebooks are not like I can't. 
I just, they don't work for me. I've tried them a lot of times. They only work for Lemony Snicket. We have God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I got um, this, like this edition of Nevernight went out of print. So I figured I should buy the God's Grave before it goes out of print. It's very beautiful. Just like the Nevernight, it's got the shiny, shiny, but also the stars. Yes, and like J. Kristoff wrote it, so what's not to love? What's not to love is when he kills characters that you love. But he does it in such a well-written way that you can't be mad about it. Everyone had this on their most anticipated list, except for me, because I knew it was just going to be a trashy little glimpse into the lives of our favourite characters, and it was, and that is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Maas. Great, very cringy at times. I'm excited for the rest of this series. It is, is it a spin-off series or is it a continuation? We'll never know. I'm excited for it because of the characters that it's going to be focusing on. Although I wish we had a prequel series. And so would my friend. And she's not even about the fandom life. She just wants that. And I think that speaks volumes for consumerism. It's like what the non-fandom people want because they just want what's necessary. Then I think this has been in my like wish list for years and years and years but I would I like could never justify spending $40 on it but you know one day I did it and now I'm very happy about it because it's so beautiful it's The Night Circus by Erin Morgan Stern in hardcover it's not the edition I thought I was going to be getting it's this one there's one it's like red and it's got hats or well, the hats are on the inside or something I don't know I really want that one day I will get all of the editions this is pretty too, and I'm gonna put it back where she goes, which is here. She can go up there too. These. I know what one of these books is. Oh, that's the other book. Yes, okay, so we have, this is the one that I couldn't remember buying, which is really bad. I, I went like months without buying any books except for like this and God's Grave. And then suddenly, all at once I bought like 10 books in a month. <laughs> they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Next we have The Price Guide to the Occult. I'm very excited for this one. It sounds like Moana meets Charmed. Hell yeah. Witchy stuff. My kind of, my kind of, my kind of stories. <laughs> I hope it's not bad like the last really witchy book I read was. Oh my god, it's another bag. Um, so we have Everless by Sarah Holland. Heard some good stuff about this, but also some bad stuff from the same people. <laughs> like they said, like, it's, it's bad, but it's good. Like that kind of review. So I'm expecting like a 2.5 slash three star rating for this one. Sounds fun. Oh, this is a loyalty card for that bookshop. Let's not lose that. And in this bag, yeah. Lifelike by J. Christoph. I almost bought this twice, but I didn't because we didn't end up going to the launch party. Um, just described it to me as real steel. Oh, the cover. Romeo and Juliet meets Mad Max meets X-Men with a little bit of Blade Runner cheering from the sidelines. The only thing that concerns me about this is Romeo and Juliet because I don't like Romeo and Juliet. We'll make do, it's fine. And then one more bag with one more book. Two more books. Yee! So, oh, this one is the exclusive edition of A Court of Frost and Starlight with the pretty arts. My boy Azriel. Finally, this is actually the last book that I read. I mean, that I bought. I haven't read it. That is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I've been wanting this one for a while. People won't shut up about it. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. So, when I bought this, I couldn't see it anywhere on the shelves and I went up to the counter and I was like, do you have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black? And then the young guy who worked there, who's like either my age or younger, he was kind of cute, so that was nice. He goes around the counter, he goes to where he knew the book was, got it off the shelves and he presents it to me. He's like, that was weird, but I liked it. Good one, dude. Oh, look at the pretty chapter art. It looks like Shirley Barber and Beatrix Potter art. <laughs> and the sequel is getting some good reviews. I never trust the Goodreads average rating because people rate it before they've read it. Why? It could be trash and you've rated it five stars. 
It's stupid. Don't do that. That's it. That's all the books I read. I mean bought. Let's make a pile and then have them fall on me because we hate ourselves. Uh. Oh no. Yes, yes, yes. Wee! I don't have to do exercise now. Oh, let's try. Let's try. No, I don't want to drop that book. It's too pretty to drop. <laughs> no, no, I have no muscles in my arms. I shouldn't dump all these on my bed because I'm going to come home from work and be like, Michaela, why? Thank you for watching. I'm Michaela and I will see you next time.